Hey, everybody. Welcome to video number two. But first, a word from our sponsors. Check it out. Little Joe, where the hell you been on the show? I ain't seen you in forever. What? All day long? Guys, Little Joe, he has been sitting there watching anime all day long on Crunchyroll. Jobs yeah, living his best nice. life. Sounds, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? He even set up a promotional deal for us where you get Crunchyroll free for 14 days using our link at crunchyroll.com slash angry Joe show. And then you can choose the right tier for you. There's three different tiers of excellent anime goodness. I'm watching Demon Slayer Season 2. Two episodes Guys, are out right now. Y'all need to check out if you haven't. Anime is good for your body. It's good for your soul. So says Little Joe. Okay? Be more like Little Joe. Get yourself set up with Crunchyroll, guys, and use our code down below. Click that link. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoy the show. Anime, guys, get you some. Get you some through Crunchyroll. They partnered up with other companies out there to br expand their library. Guys, this is where you need to watch it. Thank you all so much to Crunchyroll. Anime in your life is always good. And we know, like we said on the last episode, you're probably going to get uh, annoyed by your family, and it's time to just shut the door and then just sh <laughs> go through some marathons of some goodness, <laughs> some anime goodness. So, guys, do that by clicking the link down below. Thank you so much, and let's figure out what else happened over this last Oh, week. so much stuff this week. Uh, we've been talking a lot about <clears throat> Splinter Cell and how that is a franchise that's been done dirty. Um, you know, he's been relegated to mobile games. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, and people are like, make a new one, make a new one. Well, we've officially confirmed from, from Ubisoft that there's a remake of Splinter Cell in the works being done by Ubisoft Toronto. Uh, the game's going to be built on Snowdrop, which is the same thing they build everything on. So, you, you know, it's going to... Nothing, nothing new or super exciting, but this is, this is good news. I mean, if you like that style of game, which I definitely do. Still, so. fucking love it. And yeah, it's made by, uh, <laughs> by who again? Ubisoft Toronto. Oh, Ubisoft. So yeah. there, so there's going to be NFTs? Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, of course. I thought so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not fucking playing this game if there's NFTs. I'm not going to support the game. Like, now I got to fucking worry about every goddamn game out coming out. Is, is Ubisoft going to fuck it up somehow? Um, yeah, and and remake this. This is this is scary. So yeah. I I looked it up. Um, <clears throat> what do we got? The reboot was announced after years of speculation. Uh, obviously, stealth. Me and Joe are fucking terrible at that. Uh, but it's still always funny. Um, <clears throat> said some like that. He has some ideas for the project. To me, a remake takes what you do in a remaster and goes a little further with it. Uh, he goes on to state that the plan is to stick close to the original uh, design while updating the tech at the heart. That sounds good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're building it from the ground up. We're going to update it visually as well from as the some of the design elements uh, to match... Uh, player comfort and expectations. How do you build it from the ground up if you're using an ancient ass fucking graphics engine? And we're gonna. That's, that's not what ground up means. <clears throat> we're gonna keep it linear like the original games and not make it open world. So don't expect the, the game to be an open world. Got some details here. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll go to the top of various towers in order to explore the linear air. No, I'm <laughs> I was gonna say. I was like, no fucking way. I'm the not gonna jump on like little things. It's like, linear, all right, Joe. So get there's the no map. <laughs> um, we're straddling the line between the spirit of the old and the comfort of the new, so we can excite and surprise new players, but also make sure that when our returning players pick up the controller, they have that side of relief. Like, ah, they got it. The uh, core at the project of their f uh, a game is a phrase, respect the goggles. I'm going to fucking hold you to that. The goggles. You shouldn't have they fucking do nothing. said that. The goggles. At the core of the project uh. is another phrase, respect the goggles. Wes elaborates on this motto. I love the goggles as a symbol for Sam. We are making a game that is going to be modern, but built on the foundations of the brand's rich history. From the interview, it sounds like a challenge and, and this still that it was originally about will... Uh, Does he have yeah. swimming goggles? It's, it's going yeah. <laughs> to... Yeah, he didn't say what kind of goggles yeah, they were. Goggles. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, they're still furious, and they're going to do their best to do, uh, you know, it justice. They're going to do their best. The problem is their best is still not very good. They're working May for Ubisoft, and the only thing they're yeah, good at is like, groping women who work at the company. That's that's the problem. That's the thing that has me worried, is is what Theory. kind of mandates is Ubisoft going to have for... Mandates? Yeah, mandates. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're trying to force the women to go on. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Uh, I have no faith in them whatsoever. And no. th look, this is also super, super, super <laughs> early. There's no time frame or re you know release window. Yeah. Uh, we just know that it's being built on an ancient ass graphic engine, so it's probably gonna look okay. It's not gonna wow anybody, well, yeah. and and who knows. Um, the only good thing is this will be after the most recent. You remember they kind of shook things up at the top as far as creative control. So maybe some new blood will determine and make the, make the other games kind of feel a little different. But I don't know. I, we played a lot of their games and most of them have been really bad lately. So mm. I don't feel good. As long as there's one. not NFTs in it, then I'm happy. You're no, just I'll, I'll, your take, I'll take that back. I, I set the bar as low as I fucking could. We yeah. get some sweet ass goggles I, the NFTs. Yeah, as long as they respect the goggles, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, but OJ's right; they're gonna be respect swimming, goggles. swimming goggles. <laughs> uh, all right, we that there we Final Fantasy fourteen, a game that I have a bunch of friends playing right now. Uh, put out a cool. Uh, I'll join them. Oh, uh, really? Yep. Uh, well, no. It's being temporarily <laughs> no. suspended from sale due to ongoing issues with its servers. <laughs> uh, there was a huge surge in user numbers. Like, this is a game that everyone is flocking to. WoW is on the decline. People are you know, are less excited about New World. And this is a stable franchise that, that content's coming out that people are really loving, so much so that they could not keep up with server demand. And they're like, whoa, 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 okay. Like, we're going to stop slow down on the advertising. We're going to do everything we possibly can. And Man. they can't just add more servers because there aren't any. There's a lot of shortages right now on the global supply chain. Uh, semiconductor shortage, which is one thing they said is like, whoa, we, just can't, crazy. we just can't. That's crazy. We are too successful. We want to handle that, we, 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 we can't. Yeah, they want but to I respect you. that. And good on them yeah. for turning that game around and really making it awesome. Awesome. And then doing the right thing by saying stop selling because it could make the game worse by just yeah. allowing whoever and whenever to come and then wait in huge queues and then have their servers break. But Amazon did that. Yeah, no, that's just why I'm giving them more praise, yeah. and they deserve it. That's that's really cool. It, it makes me want to play it, knowing I can't play it. Yeah, I can't. If I can't have some, I want it. Yeah, <laughs> but so yeah, the this is only a temporary suspension. Most of the congestion has been eased up, even right now. Yeah. Uh, this was really bad. That's so funny that <laughs> Ubisoft is trying to pay people to play their games. You remember that game? Was that game? <laughs> was it <laughs> we'll give you ten dollars if you play. I think it was more than. I think it was fifteen dollars. <laughs> And and fucking Square Enix is over here. Please, please stop. Stop buying the game. Stop buying the game. Stop, yeah, it's too many. Well, I mean, it's a working game that people who are passionate about are are developing, and it's yeah. hard to find that nowadays. Yeah, I and mean, you look is. at stuff like Battlefield, with nothing in it. So, so good news if you are uh, you know already a player and you want you know more people to play with. This is a good sign. You're gonna get more content out of it. All right, we also got some new uh, information about Mass Effect. It's gonna be made in Unreal. Uh, so job listings are suggesting that Bioware is shifting away from Frostbite for this one, which is probably a good thing. Right? Yes! No, you have no idea how good that is. Is it going to be like the I Matrix? Mean, okay, but yes, there's new problems, and you can fuck that up, right? Yeah. But because, but I hate Frostbite, and mm. I just hate how uh, EA constantly uses it for every goddamn thing that it doesn't fucking apply to. And that's why fucking Madden is fucking garbage. It uses Frostbite. That's one of the fucking, reasons, yes. You want to fucking use Frostbite for everything. And that's what I have a problem with. Did you know that the toilets and the urinals in the fucking in place run on frostbite it needs to stop <laughs> it needs to fucking stop yeah okay so that's really cool yeah so the job it's unreal yeah it's job listing says bioware is hiring hiring talented hopefully programmers. that new unreal from fucking matrix, matrix yeah, shit that's so that was that's like, some good shit yeah. if it comes out looking like that Oh, yeah. oh, I mean, definitely has potential if they're willing to put in the work for it. So that's why they're, they're hire, hiring talented programmers with Unreal 4 and 5 experience. Come join our team and work with us on the next, next Mass Effect game. So specifically, go, by name, Make something amazing. this isn't, oh, they're hiring one person. No, no they're looking for a team of people that know, Do how, it. know how this works. Do it, but um, know your life will be shit because game development sucks. Yeah. But you have to do it because we need somebody to do it because we love video make games. Bioware, make Bioware great again. Maybe make Bioware great If you great are talented, again. you know, change the... Change from the this is the thing, though. They get talented people, and then like the upper people. Just, just shut like, your mouth. The, they beat the shit out of. Like, yes. no, you can't do this. Yes. Stop being creative. Yes. This is what you're doing. That's well. It. He, I you're think like, it's oh. a perfect time to come in now because uh, you know of what happened with Andromeda <laughs> and what happened with all these other things and and and, and, and Anthem. So maybe they're assets. looking at it in a new way, in a fresh way, and are open to all of the you know new ideas and good stuff. So. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully they treat their employees you right. don't sound... Uh, yeah. Hopefully. 
Well, I mean, look. Yeah. The, I'm thinking about yeah. like the the, the pro- yeah. some of the problems is like, and we talk about like bland companions and characters, and it's like yeah. changing the graphics doesn't. It makes them nicer looking, but look good. But yeah. they're fucking boring to talk yeah. to. You. Hello. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> God, that this guy again. To you. <laughs> this guy's coming. Oh. Don't look at him. Yeah. Don't look at him. He walked by. <laughs> Hi, oh, okay. Shit. Fuck yeah. Uh, the nice weather we're having, huh? <laughs> Shut up, we're in space. Goddamn, small we're anyways, I, small I would. I I can't wait to see what they come up with uh, for the next Mass Effect. I love sci-fi. I love the Mass Effect series. I don't want them to fuck it up. Uh, but I think you have to have planetary exploration. You have to have, you know, yeah. the crew. You have to have the ship. These are things that I really want. And I want ship battles. You know, I, I don't want to just drive the ship and, and do nothing when you're just driving. I want to actually, you know, encounter stuff. I don't want there. make snatch- it like a JRPG almost in that yeah. way. Not not a, a turn base or anything, but. You can encounter stuff. Yeah, encounter stuff like space NFTs. <laughs> really cool pictures of things that you can just <laughs> take a picture of space <laughs> NFTs. Shut the space fuck up. Is Everything's mine now. Yeah. Why the fuck did you, I, Joe? I need you to bleep whatever the fuck he said just yeah. now. Do you understand? Everything. I bleep Got everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> the important <Toy> bit. Because <laughs> I cannot have them hearing that shit right now, okay? Because you know EA they, is very man, fucking tempted to chase fuck. Fucking trends, so don't. How much you want to bet? Mm. Madden is gonna have some. No, don't oh. you fucking shut your mouth. Next, yeah, Thing August. Of, what? Yeah, August. Yeah, yeah. NFTs. NFTs. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Or they'll bring back like big hits and stuff like that. They'll take a snapshot and then there'll be NFTs. They got to buy. No, Joe, it's not. They're gonna be fucking NFTs in there. They're already like fucking nervous as shit because they're leading the charge on one of the worst ones in games right now. You think if they add something else to that, that is going to be that Jenga, that that block that's way too much and the whole fucking thing's going to come down. They're not adding NFTs to Madden and if they do, good because it'll fucking bring the whole thing down. I hope so. I, I I want them to. Well, I want them. Get, it on, want get them on your calendar. See, Don't say that shit. I want them I want to. You said that shit you out just too, said, Joe. It's the last block. All right? I want to see it. I want to see it fucking burn. I, I don't. I don't have confidence <laughs> in sports gamers that that would be their last block. You know, but Star you, Wars it, gamers that said, "Fuck you, Battlefront. Don't you fucking do that, right?" Sports gamers. I don't know. It seems like it would be the last block, but no. Dev is for like, Angel, this stupid Devin. kid, ever record my stats. But at uh, least I got uh, I got Mark pa- M- Michael Park Parsons. M- Micah Parsons uh, so. digital shoes, so I'm so, okay. I'll, I can fine. sell it later. <laughs> to who? <laughs> to who? <laughs> shoes are a big deal. They like cleats. Digital <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Not Did real you? shoes, and they don't even go on your character. They're just an image of an artwork. Ooh, an image of artwork? NFT? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Doctor Disrespect is launching a AAA game <sighs> studio with Call of Duty and Halo veterans. Uh, it's oh, really? Just wow. Two, wow. two, two dudes. He's They're working great, on a, yeah. a new multiplayer shooter. Um, two dudes. You're gonna need a lot more than two dudes to get a AAA no, no, thing just going. Two, just two dudes. No, then. Then the smoke of uh, mirrors. You're gonna need a lot more than two guys higher. So I say you're gonna need. Well, I don't know. No Man's Sky had like three guys. Well, that's maybe not the best. That example. turned out great. Yeah. It did. You're gonna need a few more to uh, not announce it till it was H- higher. Gold. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty it's dudes. Gold. All right. So Doc is gonna be working with the uh, creative strategist uh, for Call of Duty and, and the multi Halo Five multiplayer designer. Quinn Del Hoyo to launch a new game studio called Midnight Society aimed at creating the best, most community-focused online PvP multiplayer experience the world has ever seen. Damn. Um, cool. Surprised he didn't name it something like from his dojo. <laughs> I, look, I ain't gonna, I'm not hating on this because he is, uh, you know, a YouTuber, fellow YouTuber now, fellow streamer, fellow personality, and I would li- I like to see tr- transitions of people who... Uh, to play the games and are real gamers and have you know and want things to be better in yeah, the games because Doctor Disrespect too. constantly complains about the games that he mm-hmm. plays. So this will be a great opportunity to make a new game, to put his money where his mouth is, and 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 produce something awesome. And I wish him luck, and I wish more people would do that. Well, uh, um, in the industry and stuff. I mean, that's your opportunity. Yeah. They've got a career page up. Uh, they're looking for community managers, designers, engineers, artists, and more. All you sorts of people. go there instead. Yeah. To, <laughs> yeah, to make go. this thing work. 
Um, <laughs> I mean, I think you you hit the, the most important thing is that he is so vocal about what he does not like in certain video games, talking about changing metas and That's OP guns and stuff like that. For and so a it's, creative director. Yeah, so if you if he can be in charge and design these first person shooter multiplayer games that, you know, someone he was playing them what, six plus hours a day every single day. Yeah, a lot of experience yeah. with the, the, the gameplay cycle. Well, so. Game development is fucking hard. Yeah. You need talented people and you need a lot of them. Yeah. So, but I mean, we got the the multiplayer guy for Halo Five. If it's triple A, I, I, maybe they use the wrong words, or other people are using the wrong words. No, it's triple A. If it's Quadruple if it's indie, a. then sure, yeah, you can you can get triple A. Uh, I think the they should stop throwing around that that word because you know set your manage expectations. I would just say we're. Quadruple I don't know if Doctor Disrespect a. is very right. good at four that. A's because we're way better than the other ones. Four A's, yeah. Four, four H. Fucking bad. Four H. Fucking quad A. Four H, right? No. Yeah, no? No. Goddamn fine, Quad A. <laughs> All right. Uh, Twitch, Apex, and League of Legends went down again this week. Uh, Another uh, Amazon Web Service uh, crash. I saw hilarious. I was watching football, and I saw an ad for the first time for AWS. Mm. I'm like, really? Why are you promoting AWS? It's not like really. I mean, it's a commercial for other businesses to watch, Mm -hmm. not a commercial to consumers. But I guess they do sometimes do that because, like, they're like, oh, look at this, and this is controlled by AWS and next gen stats, and they fucking showed goddamn Madden again and all this stat stat that. Yeah. 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 stat that. They're yeah. trying to make it happen. Stat that. It's like, yeah. I will never. No. You saw that too, then. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, all, it's yeah, constantly yeah. on there. Yeah, it's the wanna... dumbest commercials yeah, ever. Like, no one it. gives a shit. Yeah, well, Stop. And your shit breaks down. And well, it's scary Jackson. because that shit controls a lot of fucking things. Play- PlayStation Network, Apex Legends, League of Legends, Halo, Valorant. There's a huge amount of And my Roomba. By the way, my fuckers, my fucking vacuum went fucking crazy, right? You're lucky it didn't hit a piece of poo poo and dragged the whole goddamn poo poo everywhere. <laughs> Why is there shit on the floor? <laughs> no, I'm just, oh, it's, a, it's a, a joke is what it's called. Um, and by, by the way, I did get the one with the camera that can go around the poo poo. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, got it on Black Friday. That's... But it's funny it's because like, I got it on Black Friday and then I got it and then right when it was mapping and setting up is when the AWS outage happened and it just Wait, went. It's, it's got a fucking camera. <laughs> yeah. it slammed it into the wall and just kept going into the wall because I guess AWS it, it runs Roomba runs on AWS so it freaked the fuck out. It was hilarious to watch because your vacuum cleaner definitely needs to be connected to the fucking and cloud <laughs> right <laughs> now. It's like just wait what? Case. Yeah, it's a it's a vacuum just cleaner. In case. I don't know, man. I fuck. And love that thing, and I I gave Joe one like two years ago. And does don't it also you make a loud live, noise? Joe? It's good. You know you, you love that no cam- thing. Yep. We fucking love robot vacuums. Never it does all the work it, for us. I highly recommend them if you get yelled at about you know just fucking shit on the floor all the time. I got a real small well, place. It's wanna... real easy to vacuum. No, no, yeah, that's no, easy for no you. Doo-doo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, Final Fantasy remake. Uh, Came to PC, right? And uh, there's a lot of inflammatory Twitter posts out there, but the consensus is this is the worst AAA port of all time. Uh, This PC port is terrible. It's tweeted Digital Foundry's John Linneman. A lot of people who have been able to play this just saying, like, this is not. It was not ready. They did not do a good job. And so as much as people liked it, uh, on on the PlayStation, well, Digital abs- Foundry usually pretty uh, you know smart guys. So mm-hmm. the, the, yeah, the quote is PC port is terrible, um, and <laughs> so lots of stuttering, lots of performance issues. Um, there, there's people talking about going there, just like just going through basic things that you can see when you download the game. It's like this will not work on your PC. This is using all the wrong resources. So uh, another bad PC not port. Good to add to the uh, to the list for this year. Um, That's cutting development costs, I'm sure. Square Enix is looking for the cheapest way to port it to PC. Um, obviously, the original developers aren't doing a PC, aren't doing the thing. So it's probably this, a third-party company that fucked it up. Yeah, but they remember they charge you ten more dollars for it. Because, yeah, and that's because, fu- because oh, fuck you. my god. Because what? Because fuck because you. Because fuck you. Yeah, that's why. Oh, it's on PC. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you. Seven Give me ten more dollars, even though it doesn't work. But it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I got you ten dollars. You're dumb. <laughs> <It's> like, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Oh, man. All right. People so loved how savage you were on the fucking Star Wars video. He's like, this is what you fucking deserve. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> people love that shit. Yeah, yeah. But some people like that, and then the, I get the... Some people don't. I, I, don't, I, I am don't sure. Don't, don't like, worry about that. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, continue to be savage. I think I'm oh. at 6,000. I got six people uh, lined up for my Star Wars experience. Yeah, there was a lot of people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do, do it. it. I mean, it'll be great. That sounds fucking... Full gas, throw shit at you while you hold the stick. I'll throw shit at you. <laughs> if, uh, get, we got a bunch of broomsticks. Star Wars experience yeah. with yeah. other more and more mar- rides, all right? <laughs> I got another right. one where I got like a box and stab some holes in it. Yeah. So it looks like you're in space. It's dark and I move it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is we that the sh- Millennium sh- Falcon? Yeah. Is that the... Oh, we could do the, the Castle Run. <laughs> the Castle Yeah, we could do the authentic Dagobah experience where you just jump on people's backs and they're Luke and you're Yoda and you're just like hitting them with yeah. a stick and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can uh, give Joe piggyback rides. <laughs> That's Through essentially so you Yoda rake, training. Rake my leaves. I don't know what that has, has to do with I'll, I'll think of it's something. The but, but I need you to <laughs> rake my leaves. <laughs> this is Jedi training. It's, it's all very much Je- yeah, Jedi training. <laughs> That's a good deal. Uh, all right. Um, you want to talk about some Halo stuff, right? Oh, yeah. There was just a, a Blood Origin a teaser trailer for Wit- Witcher. By the way, Witcher Season 2 is out now. I haven't had a chance to go through it yet. So I'll already watched it I'll all. I'll watch it. I know. This motherfucker uh-huh. watched it already. God damn, he boy. He watched it all while reading a book while he Holy was carving shit. a new mantle. This is why and he's then so intelligent. He, he was uh, cooking dinner for <laughs> I made some the of needy. <laughs> Red wine, braised short ribs on All garlic, parmesan, mashed potatoes. It was time. great. I have not had a chance to. I was going to plan to over the holiday. Uh, the, uh, or this, so, yeah. But they released a teaser trailer for a prequel series. I was like, whoa, we're going to fucking, you know, see the Karamor, uh, Karamoran. I can't fucking pronounce uh-huh. any of the goddamn words. And more witchers and shit in, in the way it was before. And it'll no. be handled wonderfully, I'm sure. No, it is focused on the elven side of things. Oh, yeah, they were so great in season yeah. two. I love the elves. The, did, oh, I, I don't know anything oh, about no, it. Yeah. Great. I can't wait to see what you think. So mm. one of the uh, so there I don't know. It just seems like the Witcher. Se- I was hearing some things that some season two were they weren't liking the direction they were going in, and they seem to be like straying from the books. There's a little controversy there. Oh yeah, there's nothing to do with the books. You know that whole interview with IGN where it's like, hey, there's so much content, we're gonna stick exactly what was written because we don't need to do any of that stuff. That was a fucking lie. And so oh, they it's did all about the, it. They did say that. That's oh, a, specifically like in in you know. In the, so. I thought Henry was there and he was gonna say, hey. Henry you know, is amazing in it. Like he's, he's yeah, a, he is. by and away the best. Like he's absolutely <laughs> the best thing in this. This so I imagine okay. every scene he's in, he's like, Gerald wouldn't say that. I'm gonna say this instead, and they're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay. That's not how it goes. It's like, yeah. Yeah, There's only one man. I I don't know if he can. Okay, anyways. Witness the untold history of the continent of the Witcher Blood Origin, a new prequel series set in the Elven world 1,200 years before the events of the Witcher. Cool. Oh, okay. Uh, The Witcher prequel series Blood Origin will dive into the events that lead to the pivotal pivotal conjunction of the spheres. Where when Balls. the worlds of monsters, men, and elves collided, and when worlds collide, okay, Power maybe. Man 5000? Yeah, that sounds kind of all right. <laughs> it's got Michelle Yeoh. Uh, that's her one agent good is one. working quadruple right. overtime. She's right in now. everything, and I don't know anybody else. So, yeah. As you can see in the trailer, there's no girl to be found. Uh, however, Netflix does know that Blood Origin is about the conjunction of spheres, which paves the way for Geralt's story on the continent 1,200 years. I, 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 I. That, that's the loosest connection. You know, n- not even a real connection. So, yeah, I don't know. Can the elves be interesting enough? Uh, do, do people like elves enough? Uh, maybe they Lord can the capture Rings. some Lord of the Rings uh, <laughs> hype and... And since the Amazon series, we got no idea what the fuck is going on. I know the there's Lord sex the scenes Rings. in it. Can't wait for Lord of the Rings because that's what we need in Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> sex scenes. I don't know, man. This uh, is the worst timeline. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I just wanted to let y'all know there was a Witcher spinoff series. I was going to be really excited about it, but then I kind of learned what it's about. And then I'm, you saw the trailer, you're like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and the trailer, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little less excited for know. it. Uh, I am excited for to watch Henry Cavill season two. Hopefully, it's good to get season three. Uh, or um, they already uh, finished. Oh, they're they're almost finished writing up. the script to season three. Okay, that's um, good. That they've announced that, and they were able to do that because they put no thought into the script at all. Uh, and so it's real easy well, to you're write. Not boosting any confidence. No, no, I don't want to influence you at all. Oh no, no. I don't. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, the only influence is Henry. 
Man, what else? Try to watch it with your pants on, okay? <laughs> I do what I want with my house. <laughs> Uh, all right. The last yeah. thing we want to talk about uh, is what the Halo event, right? Yeah. So, so you know, they said Halo uh, details new changes coming to the Fracture Tenrai event. You know, where you get your the, the third that armor uh, in your armor bay. If at the end, um, oh, where you get to earn the armor they showed. <laughs> oh wait, no, you can't earn the armor they showed because that was a fucking lie. They what? No, I mean you can earn it, right? This one dr- with your they, credit card. <clears throat> earn, yeah. <laughs> They they're a little confused on the term earn because it's so you can earn this in the store and you can earn this. Motherfucker, in the how game. do you earn? How do you earn, how do you earn store? something in the store? It's like well, you he go was, to your job and he you do misspoke. your job and then and then you earn it there and then you give me that money and then you've earned it. Yeah. Mm. So he said during the live stream <laughs> that the battle pass won't have as many XP boosts and challenge swaps in it as much of them will be removed and replaced with cosmetics because so there's too many like fucking bullshit you know like. Co- Challenge swaps, yeah. which are total bullshit, yeah. a, a facilitating an economy of bullshit, and then XP boosts, which facilitates the economy of bullshit. So he yeah. says less of those and more cosmetics, like more fucking doodads. shoulder pads and doodads that you can earn. Well, but that shoulder pad only works on that. This address, uh, this is addressed as one of the main criticisms that players felt. There's too many of those like challenge swaps and XP boosts and not enough cosmetics in that. Because remember, this is a mini battle pass within the b- battle pa- with it's an event battle pass and then you have the normal battle pass. The second big change is uh, cosmetic is that cosmetic only items in the store which charges players real money to unlock, uh, such as armor kits, weapon skins, and more, and the event pass will now only be available within the event itself, meaning you won't be able to find them at other times. Hook also commented on the free-to-play aspect of the multiplayer. One of the biggest challenges we knew we would have, and no matter what we did, we would have this, which is changing Halo from 20 years of box product models at, to a free-to-play model. It's not something that's going to be inherently satisfying for most of our players. Like 95 Correct. So this motherfucker knew that they were about to piss people off, and they go, we're going to fucking make you uncomfortable. We don't really care. We're going to dial some dials here based on player feedback, but this is the way it's going to be, motherfucker. They're, if So they know that it's a standalone product, but they still want to charge how much for the, the campaign, which is short and doesn't come with co-op? They're like, oh, no, no, this game doesn't come It'll with come multiplayer. It'll come with in six months. <laughs> yeah. Are you done but, with the game? Actually, somebody broke the code. Did you see that I on play, Twitter? I, somebody yeah. managed to get co-op. It doesn't quite work. But no, if one of you dies, the whole game freezes yeah. and locks up. But somebody, but it was there. So it just shows you the, the messy behind the scenes. Some shit went well, yeah, down. Yeah, a lot of people live, fix yeah. their shits. But, so oh. Halo does not come with multiplayer because according no. to them, multiplayer is its own standalone thing that they're... Bending you over a barrel for microtransaction wise. So they want $60 for a game that doesn't have co op and no multiplayer. Hook continued and said 343 Industries is continuing work on the model, further balancing it so that players don't feel unfairly compelled to purchase in aim guide in game items, while also still feeling like what's available for purchase is still something attractive to players. Nope. We'll I just, I just hate cent. the way, um, you know, Halo multiplayer Sad. has been treated and what it's going to be moving forward. And honestly, uh, you have to wait for the review on it. But you know, I'm, I'm going to treat it as, as one package because Halo multiplayer is a separate thing. It's not that compelling for me. I'm kind of done with it already. Like, you know, it's so restrictive and limited, at least right now, and has been in the past that I get bored with it pretty easy. And I guess they're just going to use it uh, to make infinite microtransactions. Mm-hmm. That is correct. The consumers cool. have nipples, and they will milk them. Halo. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, that, that kind of sucks. That sucks. <laughs> That's I ended on a bad story. But remember, we are continuing to tweak it based on your feedback. It's on the list of things. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Long list. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys have a good time with your families and with your gaming. And, uh, you know, I'll probably have the uh, Halo review. I was hoping to have it done this week, but I think we're going to an- actually end up going on our trip before I'm able to finish it. So I'll get it done when I get back. Love the gameplay. Love the game. It's just there's some things I, I have to say on it. So mm-hmm. I want to take my time with that. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank our sponsors, Crunchyroll. 
please uh, click the links down below. Uh, check out some anime for yourself, guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. We will see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.